Welcome back. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Dr. Mohammed Sabah Al Salim Al Sabah. His Majesty the King congratulated the Prime Minister on the formation of the new Kuwaiti government, wishing him continued success in serving Kuwait and fulfilling the aspirations of its people, of further progress and prosperity under the leadership of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. His Majesty the King affirmed pride in the distinguished historical Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations, which embody the close fraternity and kinship that unite the two countries and peoples throughout history. His Highness Sheikh Dr. Muhammad expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his well wishes that reflect the distinguished ties between the two countries. Al Hikmah Retired Society organized the first ceremony to honor media professionals cooperating with the society. Under the patronage of the Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health and Chairman of the Society's Board of Directors, Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Muhammad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The ceremony was attended by the Minister of Information, Dr. Muhammad, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Al Naimi, and a group of media professionals from television, radio, and the local press. Sheikh Dr. Muhammad expressed pride in media work pioneers who deliver the true and prestigious image of Bahrain's developmental projects and progress. For his part, the Minister of Information expressed thanks and appreciation to the patron of the ceremony and the Society's Board for honoring media professionals, affirming that appreciation for media personnel is an incentive for further work. He expressed pride in the Society's role and its continuous efforts. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated in a discussion on Gulf economies as part of the World Economic Forum WEF 2024, held under the theme Rebuilding Trust in Switzerland. The Minister said that the pace of economic growth in the Gulf region is on the right track, as it is continuously developing and creating more investment opportunities for various economic sectors. Sheikh Salman noted the importance of continuing efforts to diversify the economic base and create initiatives and strategic plans that support the private sector and the business environment. He said that Bahrain has paid great attention to enhancing its ability to attract capital, encourage investments and achieve the progress and prosperity of the economy as foreign direct investment has reached its annual target of 2.5 billion US dollars for the years 2022 and 2023. The minister noted that according to Bahrain's economic results during the third quarter of 2023, the non-oil economy grew by 4.5%, which reflects the strategic approach taken by the kingdom to diversify its economic base. He highlighted the private sector's role as a fundamental engine of the economic growth process, noting Bahrain's efforts to increase investment in the private sector and stimulate economic diversity. He highlighted Bahrain's conducive environment for attracting investment from companies in a manner that enhances economic growth and contributes to creating more job and more quality job opportunities for citizens. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs continues to hold a number of discussion sessions as part of the Diplomatic Forum 2024, with the participation of senior officials of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and heads of diplomatic and consular missions of Bahrain. On the fourth day of the forum, the speakers reviewed the work mechanism of consulates abroad and ways to develop their work in line with the global developments. They also shed light on the efforts of Bahrain in the field and the various services provided to consulates abroad. The ambassadors and diplomats participating in the forum also discussed their role in confronting crises and solving problems facing citizens abroad. The Kingdom of Bahrain hosted a meeting of the heads of Gulf associations, bodies and press centers in which they reviewed the results reached during the previous four meetings. During the meeting, it was announced that the bylaws of the Gulf Press Union were approved and that it enters into force as of yesterday, January 16, 2024. 
The union includes as associations, bodies, centers, unions, and press unions in the GCC, and its headquarters is in Bahrain. The meeting discussed all the challenges, difficulties, and developments that concern the Gulf press and the efforts to confront them that by establishing the union. The union aims to achieve the unity and harmony of Gulf press associations, bodies and centers, exchange information among them, as well as hold training courses, conferences and meetings to advance Gulf journalistic work. It also aims to achieve more gains for the press and preserve the rights of journalists and media professionals, in addition to facilitating communication with Arab and international press organizations and implementing joint projects to advance journalists journalism and media in the GCC. The Labor Market Regulatory Authority announced that the total number of campaigns and inspection visits increased by more than 72 percent during the past year compared to 2022, which is a record number compared to the previous years. The inspection campaigns aim to achieve a balance between meeting the needs of the national economy for regular workers in various sectors and not allowing irregular practices. The total number of campaigns and inspection visits reached more than 47,000. The authority continues to take all measures to control irregular workers, reduce their numbers and remove violating foreign workers. The results of the inspection campaigns are considered the result of the joint efforts of the relevant authorities, especially the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Labor, the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, the Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, the Ministry of Health, the Social Insurance Organization, the Capital Municipality and the Governorate's Municipalities. The results affirm the stability of the labor market in Bahrain and are integrated with government efforts to provide all facilities to localize investments and local capital and attract foreign ones. As part of the initiative of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and chairperson of the Advisory Council of the National Initiative for Agricultural Development, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the initiative announced the launch of the fifth edition of the King Hamad Prize for Agricultural Development to motivate farmers and qualified Bahraini workers in the agricultural sector. The King Hamad Prize for Agricultural Development creates a new competitive environment every year by encouraging the development and sustainability of the agricultural sector. The prize includes uh, three main categories. The, third, the first is the best agricultural project, which is divided into two parts. The best project producing agricultural crops, whether food or aesthetic, and the best project supporting agricultural production. The second category for the best Bahraini farmer, in recognition of the efforts and contributions of local farmers to the development of the agricultural sector in Bahrain. The third category was allocated for the best agricultural studies and research, with the aim of directing scientific research towards issues of sustainability, of agricultural development and food security in dry areas in general and island countries in particular. The award for this category is open for those who conduct agricultural studies and research from various world countries. <laughs>